Right, Dan, I've got a little challenge for you, okay? So there's what we're set with. Yeah. Um, you can see a line to the hole. Uh, you gap. will need to draw that a little and keep it low. Now I want to challenge the idea that the more you, so the more I play with good players and what have you, and even growing up as I play with good players, this kind of shot compared to just the average shot out in the fairway is where I see a massive divide between amateurs and better players. Um, so let's talk about some of the skills to get out of some pretty hard positions. So chip out, knowing when to chip out is the big thing that you'll hear lots of amateurs say. And I kind of agree with that. I've, when there's shots involved and I've done journey students and you just think taking that on is a bit risky, just chip it out and have another go, you know, and get it up there. But the chip out, even though sometimes it is maybe the better option, is again where the handicap might not come down because like there is no, I even though I haven't really got the right club of this, which we'll talk about in a second, there is no way I would not take this on. No. Because on, even if I get it wrong, it's theory it's going to drop down up there in the rough. And if yeah. I chip out there, I'm hitting a five iron. At least up there in the rough, I'm hitting a nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, one of those shots that I think you've got to go for it. So when it comes to clubs, this is where I fall down. Because I've got a very amateur looking bag. Two hybrids. So basically a six iron, which is a five iron, is my longest club iron. Yeah. I'm always struggling with the really, really low, so I'm going to have to work this. So you've already chosen a four iron, yeah. So I'm going to have to work harder now, but then I'm happy to let that go because I know I'm going to win. You know, this I'm, I would never set my bag up for this shot. No, it would be part of what I think about in my bag, but it wouldn't be. I'm going to set up for the better rounds and hope I don't get in this position yeah. that much. Yeah. And you shouldn't really be getting in this position very often. But No, and again, no, let's hit one and see and then you'll do one. So skills for this kind of shot. So I'm going to go basics that we kind of should all understand if you don't you need to start practices. I'm going to get this ball back in my stance, but for me for this one, I'm going to be so far back. So I'm literally almost opposite my right foot yeah. because I appreciate that the lot that I'm having to start with needs more working down if it was a four iron so if i carried a four iron still i wouldn't i'd be putting it like just back a center yeah for this shot now with the ball being that much further back i know i might get a little bit of draw straight away i'm also going to set weight on front foot i'm going to put my handle up by my left leg and as i swing i'm going to keep weight on left foot and i am going to do a punch shot so the reason we call this a punch is i will punch it i'm not going to kind of swing at it so it's literally down with a lot of speed and because my energy is going down there will be a stunted short of follow through okay. what's the yardage we're saying about 170 165 yeah. 170 up here yeah. so i need to do it quite hard this club oh yeah that is good don't overdraw oh yeah straight at it get up get up get up get up front edge good. just rolling back so that compared to the chip out even though my chipping's rubbish if I'm having to hit my six iron full from there which is my five iron compared to I could putt that yeah. just you have to take this on if you are chipping out in these situations you're kind of letting yourself down four iron so I've gone four iron yes um, and you said you said about ball position being back yeah and you're saying naturally that's going to get you a draw is that because your path is now moving more into out correct so through? i'm hitting it on that earlier part of that yeah. arc so my path naturally is going more right and if you had to do anything with the face right side of that green yeah and i know the path is going to be going more out towards that little red tree yeah so the ball should start right side of the green path will curve it back which it yeah. did to the oh yeah. so i'm i'm doing the maths in my head yeah. like and that's one of the things that maybe if more people practice this shot, they would, this maths would come quicker to them because I'm pretty bad at maths. So you went with a, a five iron, basically a five iron equivalent, but your club tends to pop it up a fraction higher on well, the launch? Well, not really. It does, but not really when I'm obviously de-lofting. I would yeah. have gone with a four because I would have I turned my five into, into that. Into a loft. four, yeah. So I'm not going to do as much putting it as, as further back. No, because you, you're you know? starting with, so I would have to go hybrid next and I don't feel as comfortable yeah. popping them low.
Again, right. good. You caught the tree. Just clipped it. It's now running up. It's going to be about the same place as yeah. yours. It's trying to get up to the front edge. I mean, and so that's... I, I actually, mine started probably a bit further right uh, than I was hoping. Yeah. And it just overturned and just caught, clipped one of the trees on the left. But still, because it had so much energy going that way, yeah. it just chased through that. Chased through that. So watch this. And this might be hard to do. So I'm going to do this. Watch. So I've purposely whacked it into those trees. And now look where I am. And obviously this could go any direction. But I'm better off on that instance than where I would be if I chipped out. I'm a club further out. Yeah. Which is why being able to take these on, having the skills to manipulate direction and loft and what have you. <laughs> Where's that got? Oh, that's, that that's way that down there. That off, but I've still got a shot. Yeah. So we've had four goes at it now, and I've had one that's worse off than uh, if I chipped out. Yeah. I'm taking those odds. Yeah. And, and I know for a fact that my miss on this one wouldn't be high into those trees. I know I can keep it under them. Yeah. It'd be more hitting one of those next two up there. Yeah. And again, the chances of them even going anywhere near that one. But if you can't do this shot and you're choosing to chip out, you're giving them away. <laughs>